These are the stepper motor drivers. And these little things here are where you set the uh, voltage, the current sensing voltage, or whatever. Without a uh, multimeter, you can tune them by ear. Now I got Octoprint with move tune. It's just a bunch of code that makes each axis move one at a time. So if I hit print, so you can see it's homing. It's homed X and Y already. The first thing it'll do is move Z, so it gets your little screwdriver ready, and move over to your Z driver board, which is this one here. And I've already tuned this, I'm not going to bother tuning Z again because I have two stepper motors, and if it starts to skip, then they'll get out of alignment. But you just twizzle the knob until it sounds right, until the motors sound nice so now it's going on Y it'll do this for six passes so I'll get onto the Y one and here when it gets too low it gets like a resonance to it and if it goes too low so then you turn it the other way and now we're on X so Let's see. Just tune it. Until it's as quiet as it can possibly be. And that. That was just me turning these little these little potentiometers. Now, these purple ones are DRV8825, so the little potentiometer is on the opposite side to where it is on an A4988. A4988 is on this side, which is closest to uh, where that big long line of pins would be, where an LCD adapter would be if you had one. So that's where that is on A4988. The DRV it's over there so because I was busy waffling on I didn't get to tune the wire properly I'll hit print again so you can see it homes everything so you could do Z now if you wanted depending on where your Z axis starts you might not have enough time but like I said I'm not really going to touch Z because I already have it tuned I don't want to knock it out. So first is Y. I mean first is Z and then after Z is Y. So I'm just going to turn that. So that is the way of tuning those little driver boards when you don't have any kind of multimeter. Now, my screwdriver that I'm poking around in there with is one of those ceramic ones, so it's not going to short anything out, it's not made of steel. Camera will focus. It's either ceramic or plastic, I don't really know what it's made of. It came with 
it came with the ramps board. I haven't got anything in there to tune the extruder, but that one you would start a print. This is just an initial movement tune. For tuning extruder, start a print. And this one here, this one without any heat sink on it is unused. It's just in there. I really should pull it out. It's not doing anything. But this one's the extruder. You just start printing and then twizzle the knob until the stepper motor starts to skip. Uh, all my stuff is in the way. Uh, uh, can't see. Just see in there. I've drawn a line on the back of the motor there. So I can easily tell when it starts to skip. So while printing, just I don't know, one of those stupid 10mm test cubes, I twizzle this, I turn it down all the way until it starts to skip, and then I just start turning it up until it just stops skipping. Then maybe tweak it a little bit more. Because the actual measured voltage on these things varies depending on the resistance value of the sense resistor. Some of them, people say they go up to about 0.8 volts. I got some down there that are 0.3 volts and they work just fine. They're, they're all over the place. I don't measure, I just do it by ear. I also remember when you're fiddling around in here, don't knock any of these little wires off that go to any of the motors. Because while the power is on, if any of these wires come off, you can damage these driver boards. So just be careful not to dislodge anything. Just remember the only thing you're trying to get to are the little tuning points. Oh, and in case it wasn't clear, Yes, because I have seen people ask, yes, you can mix DRV 88s with a 4988. Just remember, when you stick them in, the little twizzly knob is on the other side. So if you stick them in the wrong way, you'll end up sticking voltage input into the wrong place, and the magic smoke will come out. <sighs> Goodbye. New driver time. Dear camera, stop switching to manual focus. Once you finish tuning, don't forget the sticky cooling fan back on there. Because these, <laughs> they get hot. It's not hot now, because it's off.